Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a backup of your stuff if your touchscreen stops working. And generally, just how to use this phone in case the touchscreen is non-functional. Say you dropped your phone onto the ground and the touchscreen breaks. Now, the first thing you want to do is take a backup of your phone before you drop it off for service. But uh, if I connect it to a computer, now you get this dialog box and uh, you can't really do anything because the touchscreen is broken, right? And on the computer, the uh, internal memory will not be accessible. You can see it's showing an empty folder. And you need to basically tap this transfer files MPP. So if you're in a situation like this where the touchscreen isn't working, all you need is two things. Number one is this USB on the go cable. So this is what the cable looks like. It has a micro USB connector on one side and on the other side a regular USB port. And the second thing you'll need is a USB mouse. Now a wireless mouse will work no problem and you can also use a wired mouse. Now these cables are widely available on Amazon which is where I bought mine from. And if you have a device which has a USB type C port like this Xperia XZ you'll need to buy a USB Type-C on the go cable which is also available on, on Amazon. Here, here you can see we have a cable which has a regular USB port and on the other side it has a USB Type-C port. So you can connect it to uh, phones like this and which will enable you to connect a wireless mouse. And now we are going to turn the mouse on. Okay, it's already turned on. And we're going to put this wireless receiver in this and plug the micro USB side into the phone just like that I can see it is connected and we can now use the mouse and obviously the touch screen isn't working so now we have the mouse and we can control the phone no problems alright so here we are much better view now you can see I am using the wireless mouse to control my phone. Absolutely no problems. This is not a permanent fix to this problem. Uh, this will allow you to take a backup of your internal memory onto the SD card which I'm going to show you right now. So first thing you'll need to do is download any reputed file manager off of the Play Store. I have here a file manager. And what you want to do is go to the internal memory select whatever backup you want to take so for example i want to take a backup of my whatsapp folder which contains all of the pictures long press and you can select the whatsapp folder and i need to take a backup of my pictures I take a backup of the camera folder good now you can select copy to select micro sd and go ahead and paste so you need to give it some permission. Cool, let's give it some permission. Show SD card. All right, so now we can go ahead and All right, now you can see it is pasting stuff onto the SD card. Uh, yeah, you need to give it permissions, the thing we just saw now. All right, now I think we have a backup of that WhatsApp folder on the SD card. So we're gonna check that, micro SD. And here we go, we have WhatsApp folder and we have the DCIM folder. Actually that DCIM folder has been merged with the already existing DCIM folder on the SD card. But as you can see just now, I 
took a backup of whatever I wanted from the internal storage onto the SD card. So pretty darn successful. And I can actually go ahead and use my phone. You can see the virtual keyboard build pop up. There we go. Cool, right? And I'm not even touching the screen, so that makes it even more cool. But yeah, you can see I can browse the web and do stuff on my phone. And secondly, what you want to do before you give your phone off for servicing is do a factory reset so that those guys can't really uh, see all of your personal files on your phone. So scroll down, go to backup and reset. Scroll down again and do a factory data reset. Awesome, right? But if you want to connect to your PC, uh, the first thing you'll need to do is connect a wired mouse, then pair your phone with a Bluetooth mouse like this, which I'm going to show you right now. Turn on the Bluetooth mouse and you'll need to enter the pairing mode like this. Now, go to settings. Bluetooth turn it on and now we're pairing with the wireless mouse all right now you can see I'm not using this mouse anymore I'm using the Bluetooth mouse to control my phone. Now at this point I can safely go ahead and disconnect the USB on the go cable and use my phone with a Bluetooth mouse. Now it's not perfect because this mouse isn't really that good but yeah it'll get the job done and say for example now you need to connect your phone to the uh, PC to take a backup of your stuff. Alright, so now you can see I've got a USB cable and I've got my phone which is connected to the Bluetooth mouse which I just paired. Now keep in mind that the touch screen isn't functional. So now you can easily click transfer files. And now on the uh, computer we can go ahead and browse all of the files. The phone is connected right now. Xperia XA Ultra. And now you can see I can see internal storage and the SD card which is inserted into the phone. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps you out and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you all later. Bye.